and welcome to the show. Uh, we are here today on Beam NG Drive, going to be doing another race, the Flood. So we're using a different map. This is the Beam Mountains, and we are racing somewhere up to there. The Flood, well, the water has started. It's been a little bit of a faff to get this working. Amy has managed to, to make this work, but we have got some water, and this is going to rise as we race. Uh, and we are starting with far too many cars on a very narrow road. This can only go well. So we're at, we're using the uh, sort of power, power to weight ratio as a rough estimate. So we're at 0 0.1, essentially. Uh, we're driving some of the smaller vehicles. So there's Covets, there's Widgins, there's a 200px for Ramar, and so on. I am driving a Covet here. Uh, we will get ourselves into position. Now, the road we are racing along is very narrow. We are starting in, well, three wide is silly, four wide is very silly. It's going to be mayhem. Really, there's no other way to put it. It's going to be absolute chaos because not only are we having to try and um, race up the hill, we are also... Well, we're racing each other. We're racing against the water. We are off and we are underway. I'm trying not to... Oh, long... I was trying to not spin longbow. We have got punted clear. Oh... Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Uh, it's a very steep bit of hill to start on here. Once we get out of this place, it's escaped away at the front, which is what you want. Uh, it will be a little bit single file now. The water, we can see it is, is rising here. This is a very tight corner. You've got to be careful through there. There's a lot of wheel spin from cars. Uh, I don't really want to change up out of first gear just yet. The water is on its way. That is terrifying. Uh, <laughs> let's blaze and make some mistake. I think they have got this one under control. Now, the hill is very steep to start with, but it levels off later on. So we've had a bit of a scruffy start. The problem we're going to potentially find is if we're not far enough up the hill, if we get stuck behind in Pega or so, something, we're not far enough up the hill, we could be in trouble. Oh, and Pega's out wide and bouncing. Brazen's having a look to the outside. Can't get a pass done there. Gives us a bump. We are finding some dangerous bits of terrain. Lado's here. Amy's catching up. Joe is catching up as well, actually, at the moment. Uh, me and Brazen are past. Let's go. Lado has arrived as well. Oh, but we've got to be careful of these corners. Because uh, we'll carry too much speed. You will go and visit some rocks here. Uh, Brazen's got the move on the outside of Lado and retaken that third place. So far, it's a covert. One, two, three in this race. Blazer with that, making the most of that early lead uh, through all of this. Don't carry too much speed. Now, the water, it doesn't look scary. We're kind of... Oh, safe. It looks safe. Oh, Lado's running really deep there. Clipped the rocks. Got away with it. Brazen's have a look around the outside. Can they make that one stick? No, they cannot. Where is the water? That is the question. There it is. It's... At the moment, it looks like it's not too bad, but the water is climbing quickly, and we aren't. We are climbing, but we are not climbing very fast. Uh, in Pega's back past Lano, there's a great battle going on for second and third and fourth and so on. Blazer having a relatively chill time of it all. We are trying not to make a mistake through here. The last thing we want is to make a mistake. There are cars out wide. Uh, it is... A Never mind the trolley train. We have got the Alex train going on. Oh, Lado's cheated. <laughs> Lado's cut the corner. We will fire back past again. Lado's on the outside uh, and up the rock face and lost a bunch of positions. Oh, come on, orange covert. Oh, we've locked the brakes a little bit. We are to the inside. There's a push from Impega. That's helped us. The water's almost here. The water's claimed Joe. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all going a bit sketchy. Come on, Covert. Oh, no. The finish line is that sign, and we are across the line. We make it to the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> but we lose the second place. I was busy watching the water and slightly misjudged the finish line. <laughs> Things have gone wrong. <laughs> we technically made it. We survived the water. Oh, dear. We survived the water, but we might have lost three places on the run to the line. Uh, <laughs> the cars ended in a very sorry state. Oh, what a race. What a race. 
Joe, we saw Joe fell a little bit too far back, got claimed by the water. Uh, Lombo was unlucky on the start. We didn't actually see what happened to the others. It, I suspect a few in the initial melee got caught. Oh, bloody hell. That, it gets so frantic at the end, you don't realise how much trouble you're in until later on. Bloody hell, what a race though. What a race. For our next round, we have gone up to the, uh, the 0.15 uh, sort of power to weight ratio. We have got, well the rule was real drive cars for this. I've gone for a 200BX, there's another one in here. There is a few odd choices in here, sort of like low-powered bolides and SBR4s. Uh, Impega had to get a bit crazy with the right shedding to try and get the K-series down to the right uh, the right numbers. Amy's got a Piccolina that I only on, can only end well. We are buried in the middle of the pack here, so it's going to be an interesting one to uh, try and make this work. We are off. We are underway here. Oh, Brazen, go, Brazen, with the I-Series. We have lost out to Joe, although Joe's got wobbly suspension in the window, but we will repass uh, Joe through there. The 200BXs are line astern. That's fine. Uh, we are going to have to... I mean, it's not a great start for us, but hopefully... Oh, we can make up some time here. No, I tried. I tried to be a bit clever to the outside of Brazen. We are going to make this work now. Uh, that will do nicely. I don't quite know what might have happened to Amy at this moment in time. Wasn't the Piccolino on the front row? Has it maybe been in an accident somewhere? I am not sure. We will carry some speed up the hill. So I won't have as much power as some of the cars ahead, but I should be quite light. At least that is the hope here. Uh, we should be quite good handling and everything. Oh, although I've asked a smidge too much of my car through there. It's so steep on this bit of the hill. We are struggling. Okay, so Amy's fallen off. I just see the nameplate back there. I can see the water as well. Come on. 200BX. Go, go, go. We have got the speed on the I-Series once we get the power down. This corner here is deceptively tricky. Uh, I think we could be in trouble here. I don't know if we will be or not. Uh, second gear might not have been the one we wanted. Brazen's looking the long way round. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> I mean, Brazen ran while I was, I was understeering. Brazen, we were both understeering at that point. If Brazen hadn't understeered off the circuit, there is a chance we may well have just understeered into them. However, they had fallen off before I understeered wide. So, yeah, that is unfortunate. Lombo has taken the lead of the race. Uh, oh, I'm struggling with understeer. Oh, we are going to be in trouble. Uh, Brazen has got back on the circuit? Was there a way back up? Apparently there was. We've lost touch to the lead group at the moment here. Uh, I don't know whether we can really make up time anywhere. We, I just feel like we don't have the front end grip in this car that I want really to be working. Speed Beast has fallen back to third now. I'm kind of hoping for crashes up ahead. Oh, as I say that, uh, something has occurred in Pega might be in trouble here. Uh, the water... Oh, come on. Turn 200px. Oh, we might be in the podium positions. Uh, possibly. There's the water. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make this. The water looks very high. Oh, no, it's not. It's got us. It's got us. Oh, Speed Beast is going to make it only just in second. There we go. Longbow claims victory. Speed Beast is second. We are third somewhere in here. <laughs> we are. The water got the better of us. Ah. Uh, we, we didn't have a very good run, actually. I really struggled with front end grip. We made a few silly errors along the way. We got stuck. The hopper <laughs> got stuck. Brazen had a little issue. Uh, that got into trouble. Blazer was further down. Yeah, and Impega. Oh, there's Impega. Ah. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Lobo and Speed Beast do survive. They beat the flood. The rest of us have an early bath. For our next race, we have once again gone up in power. It's at, at 0.2, which means I've got, well, 306 horsepower, 1,500 uh, kilos, which is eh, it's not too bad. For this session, the vehicles are all-wheel drive. We've got a selection, all sorts are going on, really. There's 
Uh, Amy with the 800 series, and Pegasus Nice series, there's an SBR4, Brazen has a lot of turbo noise. Uh, we have, I'm not sticking with the hopper over there. Me and Joe have gone for the chariots, kind of high spec fast all wheel drive chariots. Blazer's missing most of the front end of Sunburst, and Longbow has a diesel powered scintilla. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Now, this is starting to get seriously fast at this point. I say that. This is getting seriously fast for this course, uh, really. This is a very narrow course. It's a very technical course. And these cars are now very fast. Uh, I have had a slightly iffy start. Oh, I might have given a hopper a help through there. I, Speed Beast is struggling putting the power down in that. My car is so quiet compared to everything else, I can't actually hear it very well. Uh, which is a little bit of a concern. Uh, I might end up just sitting buzzing the limiter at some point. I can hear... Oh, I can hear SBR4 much more than I can hear myself here. Uh, right, we, le we need to find a way past the SBR4 here. Uh, we've got good grip through the corners. I don't know if I made contact with that or not. Uh, but <laughs> it's out of the way, at least I can hear myself think. I'm sorry, Speedies, if that did make a bump. Uh, we are past, and we are now trying to chase down a brazen. Mind that huge bump on the outside. Right, let's chase down turbo noises up ahead. Uh, it is crazy how loud the turbo is on that diesel D-series. Uh, we are going to chuck our car through there. We've got the acceleration on Impega. Oh, we might have got Impega. We might have bumped Impega faster forward than they were. Oh, wanting. I've... Yeah. <laughs> we have... I, I... I feel like there was time for that to have slowed down. I had nothing to do with Brazen's issue there. It now becomes a game of, can I chase down Amy's 800 series? So that thing's quite fast, but it does not handle as well as we do. Uh, although it's difficult on this climb. Uh, Brazen has got away with that. Uh, I want it to be flat through there, but I do not have the front end grip to make that one work. We are chasing... Uh, you see the, I don't know where the water is. This isn't been... It's not been the worst run. I can't see the water at the moment. Which... I mean, we, we know the water catches up to us really quickly. The hopper is still going. I doubt it's going to make it to the top, but it is still going there. We are catching and catching and catching on the 800 series. I just rather not move the cursor off the little chat box. That's unfortunate. Oh, I've locked the brakes. Oh, go. Go. Cheerio. Uh, I think we're just going to make it. Oh, it's across the line. We will make it in second place. I think Lombo might have made a similar crash to us. Actually, surprisingly... Oh, my handbrake doesn't work in this. It's surprisingly easy in uh, the cars to run wide and end up in trouble there. However, we have made it. Oh, I was going to try... Oh, no! I was gonna... <laughs> I've been calm. And... Oh, no, we landed on our wheels. I'm going to try and push Amy into the water. Oh, my front wheel is inside out. Yeah, Lombo would have made it if they hadn't flowed off a cliff. Uh, the Cherry was actually very quick up there. We did end up a little forceful on some of the passes. Uh, we had more speed, I think, than, than quite a few of the other cars in places. Oh, dear, we're going swimming. Oh, we still live. Somehow. Now it's just become a demo derby. Who has better traction? Well, I have a wheel inside out, which won't help with pushing or any of this. Can I can I spin away and go to the 800 series? Oh, we're playing sumo now at this point, aren't we? Um, I think that means I... Oh, no, we both lose. My engine's flooded. Amy's car's flooded. <laughs> we're very sensible. We're very sensible indeed. For our final run, we have gone up in speed. This is actually quite a daunting amount of speed. We're at 0.25, there or thereabouts, which for me is 368 horsepower. The cars are allowed to run slick. Driveline was open. Most will be running all-wheel drive, but you could run what you want. I think Longbow might be rear-wheel drive, not sure. Uh, I have got a classic Pazima hill climb car that's been detuned a bit to fit within the regulations, and to try and get it close, we have got a roof box. 
and I'm not the only one with a roof box. Yes, me, Amy, and Joe have had to have roof boxes to get weight, and, well, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I think we're ready to go here. Uh, slick tires, lots of grip on these cars. I mean, I have a crap ton of either most aero of anybody here, pretty much. We will see what we can do, of course. The flood is getting faster now. Um, the flood waters will rise much quicker. Oh, we have got a bump through there. You've got to be patient through this first section. Uh, oh, a little bit frame ratey. I think Impega is struggling with a PC uh, going through this area. Now, oh, Joe has found Joe's favourite corner in testing. Joe visited that bit of scenery quite a lot. And sure enough, Joe has visited that corner once again. Uh, there is a bit of turbo noise from my vehicle. We've got more blow-off valve than actual turbo noise really going on. Not quite the same turbo whistle from the diesels. Uh, oh, there is a longbow having a look around behind us. Uh, okay, now, we're not so great at this first section. When the course kind of gets a little bit uh, wider. We have quite a lot of speed in this. If I don't hit that bump too hard, which we have hit. Ah, oh, I was trying to carry speed and I've tweaked my steering. We could be in a small bit of bother here. We could be in a small bit of bother, but uh, we have so much grip in these corners. I'm hoping we can make up some time. Now, Lombo's car looks like there's crabbing. I think that might be some desync from the uh, uh, damage with the damage model, you know, beam multiplayer is an incredibly good mod. Oh, speed beast has gone. Pushed too hard through there. I've had to take avoiding action to uh, save that one. And we have taken chunks out of our car. I don't think we're going to make it here somehow. We will give it a damn good go. Brazen's got the lead of the race from Blazer. We are frantically trying to chase down a longbow in that scintilla. Uh, our aero, we had a lot of aero to start with, but it's not right anymore, shall we say. <laughs> Some crashes. Uh, we're into the windy switchback part of the course. Come on. Come on, Pazima. Speed Beast has been caught by the water. I don't quite know why the snowman's there. I think the water might be about to get us before the finish line. It's going to be really close. I can see the water. It's got us. It's got me. Yeah, we lost too much early on. It got Longbow as well. Longbow has been claimed. Brazen has made it. Blazer survives. Uh, and a bump between the pair of them. Ah, oh, <laughs> we got stuck. We had trouble making our way through the traffic early on. And, yeah, we just could not make up enough time in all of that. The uh, the demo derby of cars at the top. Who's going to win the, uh, the sumo push of war this time around? Oh, all that can happen as well. That also works. Um, okay, well, that's fine. We will go over here, I guess. Hold on. Blonk! <laughs> that works. <laughs> and now, I have no doubt if Amy is paying attention, what will occur is um, make sure the water goes just high enough to collect my car as well. But there we go. There we go. This is a very, very tough area. This was always going to be a tough road to, to race on. It is very narrow, and a lot of the mountain roads, unfortunately, do tend to find, uh, are quite uh, quite narrow. That being said, it is great fun. It is uh, a great challenge, this one. And, yeah, racing the flood is fantastic. Uh, it is a really good... Just the, the whole... Uh-oh. The whole risk versus reward in this. Oh, my roof box and wing has come off, but Speed Beast has drowned, so all is fine, really. Uh, I think my engine might have stalled. It did stall. And we have survived. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Uh, <laughs> really good fun. Uh, I will put a link to all the mods used in the description if you want to download them and have a go with them yourself. The map itself has to take some tinkering with to get it to work uh, with the way that the map is created. Uh, thank you to Amy for fixing the map to make it work so that we could actually have the flood um, spawn and do its thing. That though is going to be it for this video. Of course, thank you all very much for watching. That shall be it from me. Until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.